getting around without worrying about parking, traffic jams or pollution may sound impossible. But one inventor may have come up with a solution. Chris Cascajo has more on the so-called solo wheel. A growing number of people on the go in Seattle are climbing on one wheel and others just can't stop staring. Beijing-born Shane Chen, who now lives in Washington state, invented a personal vehicle called the Solo Wheel four years ago. A silent electric battery-powered motor moves the wheel, which is roughly the size of a briefcase. It costs about $1,500. Very portable. You can take it anywhere you want. Um, then you, without handlebar, without control, without any way to activate, break anything. So it just wants to make it simple. And intuitive. Come on, Shane. Leaning slightly forward makes the wheel move. Leaning back makes it stop. To turn, you lean the way you want to go, left or right. But the solo wheel is not intended for people with mobility issues. So ultimately, you need to have control of your lower limbs, uh, fairly decent core strength, and good balance overall. Step up. Riding a solo wheel is similar to riding a bicycle when it comes to balance. It's easier to maintain your balance when you're going faster. For some people, that's easier to learn than others. I can teach you in about five minutes. Really? You want to give it a try? Yes. You After a couple of initial instructions, in this woman was off and riding with some help within more. five minutes. Let's get some more. Stuff. It was super easy. I mean, I would want to practice some more, but it was not hard. I was expecting to fall on my face. I was honestly expecting that, and that didn't happen. Learning wasn't so easy for 75-year-old Richard Traban, but now he's hooked. I've never owned a skateboard, never done anything like this. I figured, to me, it took about 10 hours before I would let anybody else watch me. About 58,000 people have moved to Seattle since 2010. Transportation officials welcome any method that can help ease congestion. What we're seeing is that the people are very creative and we want to encourage this innovation and have uh, as many safe motor travel as possible. For Solo Wheel, keeping up with demand is the biggest challenge. The company says it sold about 8,000 of them worldwide. Chris Cascajo, CCTV, Seattle.